Hello friends, you are mostly welcome to my channel Oru Part and in this video I am going to draw a landscape scenery and I am going to color it with watercolor and here I am using a 6B pencil for drawing you can use any of uh, 2B or uh, 8B pencil to draw it to show you more highlight and I am just using this uh, 6B pencil and now this is a cottage and this is a road near this cottage and here it is a tree behind the cottage I am going to use here artist water color, color for coloring this uh, drawing and since this page is not uh, so much uh, good so I don't use too much water to draw it and this is uh, 12 number round brush and for drawing this guy I am mixing this deep yellow color with red and apply it just above the above these trees which are so much far from this cottage and you can see I am not using so much water and at the upper portion I also use this mixture but here color red is more than you know now basically this drawing is for beginners so if you are not beginners then you cannot follow it but for beginners it will be more helpful I think and for coloring this uh, this road I am mixing brown with this yellow so that this uh, color is formed and obviously this color is darker than yellow color so just create this by using by mixing yellow with brown now for more highlightment I am using brown color at this portion and you can follow the strokes I am using how can I how I use these strokes you can follow this I am just trying to mix this brown color with the previous one such that no no such extra strokes will be shown because this will be absurd just and now I am going to color this land also so I am taking sap green color and mixing it with this yellow color so it becomes light green and I, I am applying this at here now this is sap green You can lift this portion as it is but I am using this yellow color for more highlightment. You can lift this off but I am using lemon yellow or uh, something yellow color, deep yellow color. But you can lift it off and 
you can also use uh, here your locker but i am not using because i am going to use your locker at this portion and if i use your locker at this portion too then this will basically mix together and uh, you cannot defer them more so for more highlightment i am not using here uh, your locker at these two two portions and now for this uh, these trees at uh, far away trees and i am going to use prussian blue color because sometimes it shows that when trees goes to the goes to far away then it uh, seems like that prussian blue color and i am mixing prussian blue with the deep green so that it uh, it gives me a far away trees effect so when trees are far away from the from the scene uh, then you can use this uh, you can use this prussian blue and uh, the mixture of prussian blue uh, with the deep green you can also use this so i am using this mixture and i am just putting the drop so that this gives some effect like tree but since this is far away from it so you can also use the strokes like this because these are too much too much blurry uh, trees so you can uh, also create blur effect like this and now what i am going to do is i am coloring this uh, large tree which is near the cottage so for this case i am mixing sap green with this prussian blue and amount of sap green is uh, greater than the prussian blue and then just making this like stroke you can also see that i am using just one brush for drawing this and you can also change your brush if you are beginners because uh, this may create for you a great problem for coloring this now you can do this uh, you can color these trees in more different ways but i am showing you a single technique and furthermore for the next videos i am i will show you how to color these trees in another way i am using here Uh, light green color and you you can make it with by mixing sap green with the lemon yellow and i am giving it here so in case if light comes if if you follow the rule of uh, light and dark effect in uh, in this drawing then you can uh, you can see that light is coming from this direction and so i am applying this color only at the at the opposite direction of the light so i am using more deep color at this portion so that this this gives me a light and dark effect to this uh, to this tree i'm mixing prussian blue with this green and just applying it at these portions you can also use black color for more darkness but uh, i am not using now because i am trying to uh, make it darker without uh, without applying black color and after more after more dark you can use now black color but uh, i refer you that don't uh, use directly black color to this tree so just use and just mix uh, black with this prussian blue and uh, use it at this lower portions where light uh, where, where light doesn't reach so i am using black color at this portions So now the set of the tree is uh, almost completed but you can also use it is not mandatory but you can also use orange color for more highlightment of these trees at these portions this is not mandatory i am repeating this because uh, if you use 
if you draw this in your competition then sometimes judges will not uh, will not accept this color so you can also uh, not use this now for this portion i am using brown just create brown color or if you if you are using artist water color of uh, 12 shades then you must get this color to the, to your uh, to your box and you can see uh, i am using now yellow color because at this portion light comes and falls so i am uh, just uh, putting this uh, yellow color uh, by by keeping the white space here also and now i am going to use black and uh, mixing it with red so that more dark brown color appears and i am using it to this portion to make it uh, more dark and since uh, sunlight comes from this direction so obviously its shadow will fall at this portion so for this uh, just to make it darker you use uh, you use the deep color of this color so so the shadow of it will create and i am using it like this and when when this shadow goes further move from this trees this will just uh, become blur you can see the effect uh, this effect in nature also uh, this will this is uh, sapling and i am using this and for if uh, the shadow comes at this portion too then you have to use the color darker than this at this portion so i am using dark brown at this portion so to make dark brown what you have to do is you have to mix basically black with the red and uh, the amount of black should be greater than the amount of uh, red so you can see this is the shadow of this tree and now i am going to set this uh, cottage so i am using this white brass of uh, round brass having a number 12 and I am using yellow color and uh, try to make it uh, like yellow color. So you can use yellow color uh, directly from your uh, from your box, artist watercolor box. If I show you, I have a I have artist watercolor box with uh, this. This is the artist watercolor for me, and uh, you can see the tubes, uh, each of 20 ml. And uh, here also, this is the this is yellow color color. You can use this yellow color color. Also, but I refer you that uh, you can also you you just make these colors uh, with your own so that you have uh, more experience uh, to draw uh, to draw and uh, about the about more sets of colors. So I am using here yellow liquid by creating it with uh, only just mixing it uh, yellow and white and uh, brown. Uh, amount of brown should be uh, should be just uh, a little, otherwise it goes to the brown. So to make it, you you can use your local. You can use your local, and now for this portion, I am using a dark color because light light comes from the from this direction, and shadow of this uh, of this cottage portion will appear at the wall. Now this is dark brown. And I am using this green, this green color with Prussian blue, and then with yellow locker, green plus Prussian blue plus yellow locker to make this color. But in this portion, I am using too much water because if I not use too much water, then this uh, wall will be more dark and uh, this uh, will not be a natural color. And now, just create it like this. Make a gap between one and uh, another. And then, just pull it like this. And mix it with the previous color. And now, this is black and I am going to use this uh, at this portion. This is black and just follow the strokes 
and nature of strokes I am using. This will help to draw with your own. And now I am using dark brown to this portion to divide this uh, this roof of top of the cottage. And again using black color at this portion for more darkness because shadow will fall at this portion only and if you want to put here a window then just with the dark brown color or black color create only four on only four patches and now to draw it to color it i am using dark brown also this is black color I am using in this portion now what you have to do you have to highlight this more so I am using your locker color and mix it with a little amount of brown then just give the stroke like this This is the base of the cottage and I am going to use dark brown with uh, dark brown and yellow locker color at this portion. You can see if I use yellow locker color at this portion then this uh, two will mix uh, will mix and you cannot defer them. Uh, for the next time I will show you how to uh, defer um, between two colors because this this is necessary this is necessary for natural uh, object now since sunlight comes or light comes from that portion so shadow of it will appear at this portion too so i am using just uh, the color darker than these two so i am using sap green color and with it i am mixing some blue so that it becomes too much dark and I am using this at this portion. So the shadow of the cottage is almost formed. So this is the shadow of the cottage, and the shadow of this portion will fall also at this. So I am using a dark color in this portion also. And for making the shadow here also, I am using a darker color than this. So I am using a dark color. And I think this shadow ends at this portion. So I am ending this shadow here. So the shadow ends. And now if you want to give uh, more effects like this, because I like these effects too much. And you can use these pillars like this so you can see these are the shadows of these pillars and you can use black at these portions for more shadow uh, because sunlight comes from this portion and now this uh, painting is almost complete and you can use uh, dark brown color for making this Okay, this stairs also completed. So I have completed this uh, this painting also with uh, the help of uh, artist watercolor now, and uh, I am placing uh, here dark with dark brown color some of the branches of this tree. So I am creating this with dark brown color. This is and this and some branches to these portions also. So this is the branches of the tree. It is now completed. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe this channel to get uh, more videos like this. And keep practicing. Thank you. Goodbye.